Look it's here. big church hair. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the got a couple flexi grains. Is there a cap on it's your a, first day? Well, no, it's just <laughs> beanie, beanie. First day, no, beanie. Let's start. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Two, three. Oh! Hey, hey, everybody! Doug Fields here with Katie, the Queen, Edwards, Josh, the MC, right. Griffin, and Matt, the did nothing, the <laughs> unemployed. No, no. Uh, future of the church. Be back to being the future of the church. There you go. Matt McGill. We got a lot of emails. People coming coming in because oh. we ended the show with you your story. If you haven't watched show number two oh nine, wow, two oh nine. You need to watch show two oh nine. This is two ten. We got a lot of great questions. We got a lot of great love for each other. Absolutely. We've been, Lots we've, of been love. we've been doing the mutual admiration club. We have a little sausage stink in here. Uh, yeah. Matt came out of my kitchen. I was in you the call kitchen. I, here's the deal. I went to the kitchen, and when I'm always in the kitchen, I'm praying for the perfect snack, and I open up the fridge, and there was some sausages. So I threw one in the microwave, and I had a little snack sausage, and it's great. He came out with a little snack sausage, and it smells in the garage it worse than it smells in the garage. Oh, it's yeah. like rosemary garlic foufant sauce. I mean, it was. I never yep. had anything like yep. that in my life. That's exactly what it's wow. like right now. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Well, okay, you two just came back from Africa. Yep. Give us a 30 set. 30 cent? That's it. Yeah. Second. <laughs> That's um, I took my son, my 11 year old son, with, and it was the so most great. amazing experience that I've ever had as a father and as a youth worker and all that kind of swirled together. It was just phenomenal. We just sit and literally lay in bed at night and talk about the day, learnings, high, low, things they didn't understand. It was the richest richest time I've ever had as a That's dad. That's great. How'd Mama Bear do with him gone? No, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. I think she was a little, you know, way more worried. Yeah. Don't ever let him out of my sight, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I did a few times and he did great. I mean, he's a total yeah. champ. And missing he, a kid that's on the <laughs> black market. Yeah. 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 Literally grew up in front of my sure. eyes. Sure. It was, you know, so I have four kids. He's the oldest. So usually he's always playing to the younger. It just, that's the four, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And he got to kind of rise to the challenge of really almost being a junior higher. It was awesome. Yeah. You definitely was, saw him on the front end of the adolescent oh, gosh, thing, yes. too, of like just him hanging out. Out with the junior hires, just kind of seeing mm -hmm. that middle school picture. Was totally. And hit him. Shaving. <laughs> totally. He started Wild using deodorant. deodorant. Totally. Yeah. Definitely deodorant. Buying sure. weed on the side. Yeah. 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 Sold this yeah. to buy weed. Yeah. All that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. you guys have heard me say many, many times when I talk about my kids, the highlights of their life was youth ministry stuff. Oh, that's you know, awesome. being yeah. being the yeah. the son and daughter of a youth pastor, and that is so rich, and that was life changing. And you've so done it with Abby, your daughter, yeah. many times. So yeah, Abby and Did she go on this trip? last summer. Yeah. No, yeah. she's. I think she'll go next year as an eighth grader. Okay. So, but it's kind of. You know, we've done this like little separation of like, okay, it needs to be your thing now mm, instead yeah, of good. coming, you know, attached to me. So she's she's great. She takes it really seriously and prayed about it and That's great. decided not this year. So great. someday our kids will yeah. go on the same trip and they'll fall in love and we'll be like in laws forever. It'll be awesome. It'll be amazing. <laughs> That's great. That's <laughs> great. great. No, it's a great oh. trip. It's always fun to watch students in that so cool. arena, just discovering yeah. just a new culture, discovering God in that culture. It's 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 an exciting yeah, and I'm very grateful that we have the resources to do it. I agree. And I think a lot of people go to Africa to help the African people and to make a difference. And of course that is true. But in, in my mind, maybe ours, I'll speak for, for you. It's really about our students and watching them grow and blossom and their minds explode. And, mm -hmm. you know, it is about the African people, no doubt. But honestly, it's almost just a vehicle to watch our students really be challenged. And it was great. The great trip. Yeah. yeah. Exhausted, still a little jet lagged. It's sure. a hard one as a leader because you're having your own experience, plus you're also yeah. running a camp, so to speak, in Africa. So you're a youth pastor and you're having this experience. So, but it's cool. It was, it was amazing. Yeah, it's great. And we get to hang out for like 10 days, yeah. which is so rare awesome. yeah. and lovely. And we, <laughs> we missed you guys both. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, very, very much. Matt. Maybe a little bit more, though. <laughs> 
I always love to see both. Katie. Yeah, <laughs> love totally. to see Katie. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. But Likewise. I didn't. Josh and I normally either text or email every day. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, we're I pretty good friends. And I didn't. Yeah. Um, Unlike Matt, who didn't text me back this week. Hey, how was your first day at your new church? I didn't hear a word. I didn't get anything back either. Hurtful. You did today. I did. Today, two days later. Two days later. No, yesterday. It's one day later. No, Folks. was it? He texted me back. <laughs> <I> did. <laughs> you did not. Okay, so oh, here's the deal. Try I, to take the same thirty seconds that Josh. Just <laughs> the same thirty. Seconds. Uh, somebody else be a senior pastor, guys. So <laughs> yeah. just practicing. No, um, so I started new ministry yesterday, and yes. it was great. It's fun. I mean, it's it's there's so much to learn and you know we had like four or five different meetings yesterday and in between each one uh you know talking to the senior pastor for a little bit and and just seeing you know meeting with some staff to talk about this thing and meeting with elders to talk about that and and you know so it was just fun to get a picture of what's going on today um you know we met with uh, some more staff to talk about like communications and what's this happening and who's doing what and how do we add some strategy to that and so it'll be, it'll be great. It'll be fun. I mean, I know that that it's. I mean, I've made four major work changes in my life, so I know that it's not going to be a perfect place, and yeah. I'm not expecting that. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you know the 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 big learning, and I probably said this last time. Maybe I didn't, because you know whatever we were all touchy feeling yeah someone said we were all tender and i was like you know dad we get tender sometimes i didn't feel like that was the only time sometimes but but, uh yeah sometimes (laughs) you know every 100 episodes look look at me (laughs) yeah look at that i'm always you're so tender yeah totally me too just those wrinkle lines Um, of compassion (laughs) (laughs) the sun damage of compassion (laughs) (laughs) the cancer melanoma oh grown in cracks keep going (laughs) Hey, I'm not the one slowing us down here. Well, you are well, now. That's, no, that, no. That, that lady yeah. brought you along. Is a first. <laughs> okay. No, I would. I mean, my big learning from the last two years is that to be in a situation where you're valued and you can lead is awesome. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, those you know, hanging on to those two things. Um, you know, three weeks ago, I was talking to a, a youth pastor on the other side of the country who was from our youth group. We yeah. all know him. He grew up and great kid and well he's not a kid anymore but whatever you know he has a great situation a great church but then he's got some frustrations and really sharing and what about this and that and I and it was just it's so raw on me right now it was very easy to say you know do they love you yeah they think I'm the greatest do you get to make the decisions about your, oh absolutely I said so you're valued and you get to lead yeah you know that that's is a real, huge that's, good, that's a huge gift I mean and that's it's almost like I mean, we always felt that. I mean, you know, that night we celebrated you leaving Saddleback or whatever that was, and there's all those people in the room. I mean, everybody said the same thing about you and who you are. So, you know, so it's something that we've always had, you know, we meaning Mm -hmm. us right here. But, uh, you know, go two years without or a year without that, you know, it's a big deal. Yeah. So. Well, and it's just it's a reminder too of how pain is a great teacher, too. Yeah. So in the midst of the pain, you come out. You're now overseeing the youth ministry. You're overseeing most of the church. Well, yeah. Now you've got you've got that leadership backpack on to say, okay, the people that are quote unquote reporting to me, am I valuing them and am I allowing exactly. them to lead? Yeah. I mean, and that's that's the. That's that's it. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not it's it's not enough to just sit there and go, oh, pour me out of this suck and what's going on. Yeah. But you really, you know, what do you? Well, how do you want to be a leader worth following? You know, what does that what does that look like? So, yeah. Well, cool, I'm thrilled that you're here. I mean, we knew that you weren't going to stop doing the podcast because you. Yeah. We've taken a blood covenant on that. <laughs> but Absolutely. We thought maybe, over my diabetes I have, needle. <laughs> I have diabetes now. Okay. <laughs> but we did. You missed that. We diabetes. did think okay. that <laughs> this being your first week, you might not be able to break free, and we were ready to do the show without you. Yeah. But so excited that that you're here. So is Lee Nicholson from Louisville, Ohio, <laughs> who is a um, wall. Of fame, wow! A new Wall of Famer. Her so hey, Wall of Fame well, means this. First if you, and last name from you, the Wall um, of Fame. Yeah? And well, and the photo. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, of course. So Lee Lee Nicholson has watched or listened to all 210 episodes. We, you know, we're assuming that everybody knows our terminology. Yeah. Because some people writing in and says, you know, I'm working. I'm a rewinder. I'm I'm listening to. No, the rewinder is 
when you have listened to everything. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't start at the beginning. Yeah. Those people are. Most of them are dead. Yeah. Now they started at the beginning. Now. Yeah. yeah. So wait a minute, there's dead two terms or, or one term? There is. There's two terms. Okay. There's the the Hall zero, of Famer. Zero, right? There's the zero, the zero, of Famer. The zero zero club, and the Rewinder Club. Rewinder. And they're yeah. both on the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Okay. Great. What's confusing about that? I, you'd be surprised, man. Yeah, you yeah, would. If I, if I read you, you know, if you want to prep the show, you'd see all the crazy stuff that gets in. Oh, the crazy. This is from Zachary Wolf from South Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right. Your area. Born and raised. Here we go. Matt, I am sorry you were canned. Oh. oh, sorry, dude. I love that. Where are we all? <laughs> My name is Zach Wolf. I'm the youth director in Milwaukee. And I think I am an officially a rewinder. I think I am. I think I am. I started listening to episode 164 and have gone back and listened to all of them. However, since episode 200 isn't posted, I am not sure if I can meet the qualifications anymore. It's not his fault, though. It is, is it? posted. Oh, it is posted. It is posted. Oh, By wow. the time people listen to this, it is posted. 200 is up and done. Right. You guys are great, and I love being at the staff meeting. Thanks for the encouragement. I hope I will see you soon. Also, as part of a network, too, which let us know if you're part of a network, yeah. and that is great. Um, <clears throat> this is from Kellen Friesen, and uh, from Altona, Chile, Minnebega, or wherever it is. He's Canada. In Canada. Matt, sorry to hear you got canned. <laughs> Didn't we say that in the last show? Say, saying yeah. sorry to hear you got canned. That's yeah, awesome. something like that. I got my position was terminated. <laughs> well, but we have we have one of those in here too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we have somebody in here wrote sorry. Yeah, we totally say that. That's what happened. Yeah. I mean, I got. No, I just don't remember that term. You got the oh. axe. <laughs> I'm actually sorry to hear that you got released, but was also very encouraged by how God has provided for you, and it was amazing how quick it happened. God is good. Anyway, just want to say thanks for all you do with the podcast. I'm a youth pastor in Canada. Uh, it's always encouraging hearing you, the laughter, answering tough questions. The whole thing is great. Aww. Awesome. Mm. Hey, Kellen. Awesome. Thank you. I was going to send him some from our sponsors, but we haven't even announced our sponsors. Oh, yeah. We're so excited for no. the show. No. We haven't been together in a few weeks. It's, it's been a little while. Yeah. 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 And uh, we After have our primary all. sponsor, U Specialties, who, Absolutely. as you're listening right now, go to um, U Specialties' website. There is an unconference happening. They're going to do it in 12 cities. It's free. Yeah. Totally free. There's one here in Southern California. Free what makes it unconference? I mean, people are gathering together. Conferring with it's one so, another, but no like speakers okay. and bands. Yeah, it's it's more like educated. the people that are there are setting don't the assume, agenda. Don't assume I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, free twelve of them all over the country. <laughs> Uh, Mark, Mark Matlock is um, he's a stud he's he's going to be know. moderating all of them and our agenda magic tricks too I'm sure I don't know um, I don't know illusions what do we call those I don't know I'm in black magic I'm I'm black know. magic it's all satanic. satanic this is from Kevin Patterson hmm. so you especially this is our primary sponsor yeah thank and then you we have what we call our secondary sponsors we give her a registration <laughs> <laughs> to the unconference yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to give you a free, <laughs> a free registration. registration for free uh, <laughs> and then we have youth ministry 360 the code no. youth 360 who was very loyal to us and yes. actually wrote us and wondered because there was a some mass murders that happened in Orange County yesterday yeah and some shootings and did you hear about it Miguel it yes, was actually dude, Tustin, Tustin your beloved Tustin it started in San Diego and went to Tustin no right? started in Ladera, Ladera Ranch right up the street um, a little bit south yeah <laughs> anyway <laughs> may as well youth ministry 360 Wrote us, yeah, and said, or, and "Is everybody right. okay?" Yeah, yeah. Was that Andy or Les? It was Andy. It was Andy. Yeah, yeah. we like hey, you better. Andy's kind of the nicer of the two. He's yeah. well, really? he's more pastoral. Yeah, yeah. Les Which, is the one that actually writes I, the check. I was say Les probably sponsors. does the work. That yeah. Andy yeah. Takes yeah. The yeah. Yeah. Les, we, we like you, you better. <laughs> Oh Azusa Pacific University. Oh, if you're wondering if I'm wearing their shirt, yes. Oh my goodness. And Is anything in your closet not from Azusa? No, I have a lot of Azusa stuff. Seriously, that's a cool one, though. Remedy Live. You use all your food money for that, right? And Leader Tracks. <laughs> or do they just give you that stuff? They just no, they give me that stuff. I, but I do get 50 bucks, 50 bucks a month for food. So like, okay, if I take students so. out to... You know, coffee or whatever. Over at the Cougar Den. That's, That's awesome. what it's still you called. You have to do it on campus. You have a little like campus. Yeah, a little yeah, campus thing, and then I get fifty meals a month too. What? Yeah. Fifty. I know. Way too many. But I would tell you. <laughs> way too and a free T-shirt. Fifty That's meals. Beautiful. Huh? It's not possible. No, you would never eat. That would be. You would. How many have you eaten? Three. 
two meals a day. Be honest. I haven't eaten that many. It's not up there that much. Not, not three? I've eaten three. I guess three. No, I've eaten three. I'm just saying, That's I get 50 a month. That's why they so many. They knew we wouldn't use I'm, them. Yeah. Do you give the card to Cody and say, hey, dude, I'm going to the card? <laughs> no, he's asked for it, but no. I would tell um, you Kevin that. Patterson from <laughs> Madisonville. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Snack sausage McGill. Yeah, there too. <laughs> Madisonville, Kentucky. Hello, garage hey, dwellers. Sorry you got axed, Matt. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm posting on my husband's account. <laughs> First, I want to thank Josh because YouthPastorDiet.com and the motivation he received oh. there. Not only has my husband lost 38 pounds, wow. I've also lost 18 pounds. Unbelievable. That's great. You gave us the motivation to get healthy. <laughs> Why are you doing that? That's lost. awesome that Josh is giving him the motivation to get healthy. And I can't What's thank you is enough. Is that still going on? It ends in like a week and a half. Yeah? yeah? What place are you in now? Like 10th or 11th. I'm yeah. dropping. Yeah. Not dropping I'm pounds. Dropping. Drop, yeah. dropping standings. My question is, as a uh, spouse, what can I do to better support my husband's ministry? Brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks that would for help all you do. Stupid thing. Hope Matt's new church works out. He oh. is the future of the church after all. Can't this true. is from Kevin. Oh, this is from Kevin's wife, Jacqueline. Oh, all right. Yeah. yeah. That's cute. Yeah. She's right. What was the question again? <laughs> What can what can she do to support uh, her her uh, husband's ministry? Or <coughs> you could do it the other way around. What does your husband do to support your ministry? So here's okay. I'll I'll start. Why don't you start? Though? Here is here is when I I feel most most supported is when Kathy is excited about the opportunities that I have that are outside of our house. So for example, if I'm speaking on a Wednesday night and I'm leaving. And she's like, oh, you are going to, you know, you get the opportunity to talk to kids about Jesus. Where I'm not feeling guilty going oh, out. That's good. And, you know, those, right. those, that is a huge support where she's like. On board. Yeah, not only on board, but excited, like praying for you as you, you know, go do that or whatever it is. That's a, that's a biggie for me. It always that's has cool. been. That's a great one. Or a way to camp or, you know, a mission trip, yeah. whatever it is. I'm just, I'm cheering you on. I'm so excited that God has called you to do this. and So that's a huge, huge support. I'll say one that is, I think, advice that we've talked about a lot, but uh, might be kind of a, a backwards advice, is don't feel guilty if you're not involved with everything. I mean, I think that um, it is great to be a support and to be enthusiastic, and you can be excited for your spouse, but if you, um, you know, if you feel, like, guilty that you, the church didn't get a two-for-one when they hired right. your husband, your spouse. That's not, I mean, I know that that's, like, a lot, way a lot of churches like to think, and and that's a huge mm-hmm. bonus and whatever. But I feel like that's an unfair pressure when the spouse feels like she has to be or he has to be involved in everything at every level and show up and be smiles and, you know, and, and I mean, that sort of thing, I mean... It's just over the long haul, that's just going to do wor- worse than showing up and being there and, and faking it for a while. So I think mean, so you support can, it by being genuine, okay. being authentic. I'm wondering how you're going to turn the corner on how yeah. I was supporting. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I said it's just, I don't, I mean, maybe it goes beyond the, it's more of being a spouse and not specifically supporting the ministry, but supporting your your, your husband and your wife in that. Okay. I think it's important. Good. Don't feel guilty. Good one. Neither of you two have one? I was just thinking, I think my husband knows me really well as far as, like, the types the of things. The biblical sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so, yes. I, I mean, what I mean is, like, he really understands how I'm encouraged and how to support me as far as, you know, when I come home and I'm exhausted from something, he's okay to give me a little space to recharge or to do, you know, he really understands what, what I need as far as like, I mean, to use kind of, I mean, the love language term of just like little gifts, little things that he knows really recharge my battery, which is awesome because instead of me coming home and him expecting me to always just jump in immediately or, you know, just resume roles so he can take a break or whatever. I just think, I don't know, we partner really well because we know each 
what really encourages each other, yeah. and so we're able and to... And do you do the same thing with him? Because he's got a full-time yeah, job. Yeah, definitely, and I, I think... Not as important as yours, but... No, still. he has a very important job. He's a school teacher, yeah, so... Yeah, just not as important as yours. No, it's totally important. Yeah, it, it is important, just not as important as yours. <laughs> no. Can he talk to kids about Jesus and eternal life? If they and ask him. Life everlasting, uh, yeah. joy, no, and peace. No, he can't. Okay. Yeah. So um, yours is more But evolution. He has so. to do it through actions, <laughs> not words. Yeah. Um, so it might yeah. be more difficult. Difficult than yours, uh, but just not yes. more authentic. But I don't know. I think we just know we've we've communicated to each other like, hey, when things are crazy or when whatever, just here's what I need, here's what I need, here's how I'm encouraged. I don't know. I think we know that about when you each said other. recharge, it made me chuckle because for all those years that you didn't even know how to charge your phone, because <laughs> he would charge your phone at night for you. And yeah, for he takes gas. really good care of me. He still does all <laughs> He's, of that. <laughs> <laughs> he still does that. <laughs> My but cake is true story. My didn't you like a couple in. years ago? You you had to fill your own gas and you called somebody for help. I know. Yes. I know. Oh, no. Please tell me that's not no, true. No, there's something. I'm sure I'm exaggerating. It there on was accidents. a lock on my tank. This was a long time ago. Right. That I didn't couldn't figure out how to get it no, open. That's, yeah, that's, that's understandable. That's what I meant. But that was like a really for, long time. How ago? long did you own that car? I don't know. Four years. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, um, I've been racking my brain. There's several. I, mean, I don't think I've really enunciated how incredibly valuable my wife is, and supportive, and loving, and caring. I think I'll just throw out one. When I screw up, just the quick grace to forgive. Like if I forget to write something on the family calendar, like I did last week, and she didn't know you were doing that. She's like, "You're going where?" <laughs> and taking our son. Yeah, exactly. Him. But like, you know, I. I, I really work hard to clear our calendar with the family calendar before it's published and before we get the parents and all that stuff. But every once in a while I screw up. But really quick to forgive mm. and supportive and loving and like just kind of like knows that I can be an idiot and a screwball sometimes and still after 20 years of doing this is still quick to forgive and totally on board and it's a ding, it's a something, but but quick to release that and, and I, I think I punish you myself hold on to it a little longer. far more than yeah. she does. Yeah. So I think if you if you can do that, it's incredibly supportive. Not to give grace for, I mean, I don't know. Uh, you don't want yeah, to all, of our, all of our all of our spouses. Table. Yeah, totally great spouses. I mean, we all like yeah. the secret of marriage is married great. Married the right person. <laughs> there's more than that, but but <laughs> well, not for that. me. There's more than that. But shameless me. plug for anything? No. Uh, any by the time, time the podcast on, uh, is up. Look at our new sponsor, a marriage sponsor. <laughs> but all of our spouses, they all, they also minister in ways that are different than we do. And that's yeah. okay. I mean, you tell a great story about how you were, in the beginning, very extroverted. And Kathy would spend more time with just one or two kids. And, you know, you would talk, hey, why don't you do this way? And, and so that was a great story that I heard, you know, growing up going, oh, yeah, people do things differently and that's okay. But, but that's okay. You know, yeah. I mean, that's okay for you to do one thing at a youth ministry program or event or whatever, and for, for Kathy to do something different. And, yeah, you know, it's great. It's great. Hey, um, Susie Ralph asked a question that's, well, first, hey, Matt, sorry your position was terminated. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> thank you. Susie, thank Katie you. is going to respond to you directly. Okay, oh. directly. Wow, did you know that one was coming? Yeah, we yeah. talked about yeah. it. Yeah, Katie's oh, wow. one of our... That's part of, the, that that's part of the preparation of the show incredible today. Incredible amount so. of free show <laughs> Susie, Susie's one you of our regulars. Listen. That's right. Yeah. 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 Um, Troy Allman from Greensville, South Carolina. Great show. Been listening since episode 00. zero. Oh, oh, that's a zero. Rewinder. <laughs> <laughs> Had to finally delete a massive amount of episodes to gain back much of my hard drive. Yes. I've been living in Amsterdam, working with a high school group at an international church. Where it's made up of 75% Dutch, <laughs> and working on my Masters of Divinity at the same time. Wow. Two questions. One, we used we used to use the the Live curriculum up till this past year, and was wondering if you had any suggestions for other youth curriculum that would be easier to use in an international setting. It was a great curriculum, but we found it to be a little difficult to relate to some ideas to the European kids. Wow. Two, we were taking the youth on a mission trip to the Czech Republic this summer and was wondering if you had any good resources for preparing the group for it. Team building, application, other things. Mm. Cool. I was thinking when I read the team building, I was thinking the folks from Leader Treks have great yeah. stuff on team building, 
uh, applicate, you know, all that stuff. So I would say, Troy, check out LeaderTracks.com. Leader not only are they you want to hear about the refuel retreat? Yeah, not only are they a great sponsor, but they have great stuff, and you can yeah. download it. You don't have to get it all, you know, sent to you if you're in Europe. They have great prep stuff, yeah. permission stuff. But, but to back up on this question is you have I mean you have a tough job but really what you're doing translating a curriculum to your culture is what every ministry really needs to do is to translate it to to their ministry context rather I mean it I mean we create resources download youthministry.com and we want it to be as usable as possible but the reality is, is that nobody knows your kids like you do and and you're going to have to contextualize it yourself yeah. so yeah. Yeah. so do you think maybe we should contact Tori? I was calling him Troy, wasn't I? That's my fault. Yeah. yeah. His name is Tori? Tori. Well, you know what? Zern might be able to help. I mean, I know that Amsterdam is not Germany. Those are two totally different places, but... Yeah. Uh, if I forward this to you, you want to forward it to... Absolutely. Zern? Maybe the other yeah. thing we could have as part of maybe one of the tabs on downloadyouthministry.com <laughs> is European resources. Sure. <laughs> that are already contextualized. I like it. I like it. All right. Well, send, and simplify. Send them to Josh. I mean, some of the curriculum out there is so, I mean, it's like 18 pages and tons yeah. of, I mean, I think in other cultures, simplifying some of that stuff. Well, the Germans like 28 pages. <laughs> no, that's not true. I don't know. So. Yeah. Okay. You said that. Oh, yeah. Go. So I should read my thing. Yeah. That was like um, a lull right there. <clears throat> this is the, there was a lull. Uh, refuel retreat, Keystone, Colorado, which I don't even know where Keystone, Colorado is. It's right by Denver. It's right by Denver? No, it's not. It's, it's in, in Colorado. Colorado. It is somewhere in Colorado. <laughs> but April 17th through the 19th, there's a retreat happening that we always want to go on or they want to go on. <laughs> Uh, it's so you can rest and relax. No, you guys always talk about, oh, that's okay, so great. Okay, but you've never even been there. there. But here we go. I don't do these fast. I'm horrible. You don't do anything you, you don't fast. Do them. <laughs> I don't do anything fast. I eat the snack sausage fast. Uh, it's priced to be affordable and offer you the opportunity to bring a spouse along. Refuel is all about you, and you can even meet one on one and talk through your challenges. Oh. So that's so that's how cool. great. Like you guys go to that? Yeah, I'd love to go to that. I'd mm-hmm. love to go yeah. to that. Colorado. Think so. Hey, um, someday. Kyle Reed makes a comment. He's from Shawnee, Kansas. He says we need to change Matt's, Matt's bio on the About Us page. Uh-oh. Oh, now, yeah. After the news of episode two hundred nine. Oh boy! So what does the about us page say? It says, "I'm sorry, you got canned." Probably says he's the <laughs> canned. He's the yeah. youth pastor of Mariners. Yep. Um, yeah. But he says, "Thank oh. you for the wisdom <laughs> and the encouragement by Matt." Oh. oh, on my last question about seniors, but he wants more information. So I'm going to send this to Seth, and we're going to post this on the Youth Minister Garage for the community there to you go. Oh, weigh good one. into. Okay. Oh, weigh in community. Mm-hmm. Weigh in Youth Pastor Diet. Uh, weigh in fish. Um, Please don't read my name. Just kidding. Please do. Dale Friesen. <laughs> Sorry, you got We've already had a Friesen. Just kidding. Have we had a Friesen? Is it the same? No. I thought it was Troy. Sorry. Maybe it was Tori. <laughs> Friesen's hot. We had a Kellen. Yeah, we did have a Friesen. We had a Kellen, and we have a Dale. So maybe Dale is... hilarious. Maybe Dale is... Um, Long lost Amsterdam brother? I don't know. No, also no. from Canada. Hey, uh, so he says, what are some non-youth ministry books Pseudonym. that have helped shape your youth ministry and faith life? Oh. Mm. Dale pronounced question. Friesen. Um, because I read this and I already thought of one that I talk about a lot <laughs> and read it in my early 20s and I have probably reread it three times. The Bible? Uh, <laughs> No, I'm still not getting through Leviticus. Yep, totally was. That wasn't even oh nice. was like, I, good. No. I barely smiled. Yeah, it's yeah. Right. wasn't that? It's, it's hard with all that plastic <laughs> surgery. Smile. All the Botox. <laughs> uh, Expression well, he's less. Well, Church now, <laughs> so maybe. <laughs> Uh, maybe. Oh, maybe. maybe. Oh, great. Wait, you left and then you know, yeah, right. yeah, that's well, pretty much. I pretty so, much what's your fired. book that you uh, read? Well, three um, times? Gordon McDonald's Ordering Your Private World. It hmm. it was a really really important book for me. Um, and when actually, was the first time you read it? In my early twenties. Oh. Yeah. So and, so yeah, so 40, 50 years ago. I loved it. I loved it. I was like, <laughs> well, why? You've already hit like wrinkles and <laughs> I know. What is Botox this? and <sighs> no, insecure people. People hurt people. Hurt people. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, it's it's been very influential. Um, oh. It's a little dated because I saw I'm, I was talking to some cassette tapes. Um, no, it was some some interns at Mariners were asked to read it, and I saw I somebody. The main leaders at Mariners were asked to read it. Well, and I, I was it's leadership. Program. I was reading. No. I saw that, and I said, "How do you like that? How was Chapter One, the Sinkhole Syndrome?" She's <laughs> like, "Yeah, it's it's good. It's just." I, I can't relate to some of the stuff, and I understand because there is yeah. some. And it's so funny to me that people wouldn't see that as an example, as just an illustration, fluff. Not, fl- I mean, fluff, uh, and get yeah. to the principle. Like, yeah. why wouldn't you just care about the principle? When why you're does young, it throw you're an you off? Idiot and you don't know how to do that. So you're calling people idiots. Yeah, well, well, I'm on board with that. Right. You're, you're talking math language. I'm yeah. on board with that. All right, so order in your private world. Go. Yeah. What do you got? Um, Skip, what do you got? The dip, the dip by Seth Godin, just encouragement. After some early successes, there will be some short-term losses. Fight through the losses to mm. find greater gain. It's a great one. Nah, it's the secular book. Really, really good. Seen it many, many times. Very helpful. <coughs> seen it? It's a movie now? No, seen it. Like, seen the principles lived out in seen the dip. church ministry okay. context. The dip. the dip can be frustrating, debilitating, exhausting, make you want to quit. Even debilitating. On the other side of the dip could be some incredible gains. Fight through the dip. Yep. Right. Short. Read it in yeah. 30 minutes. It's like what matters most. Real short. Oh, yeah. such a good book. Yeah. That's influenced by ordering your bread. <laughs> Go. Um, the Life You've Always Wanted by John Orberg. Oh. Love it. Just love, love that book. I, I spoke last weekend and quoted out of it. Really? Yeah. Really? On, the, on the disordered He's heart. He's like on my list of one of those people I would love to meet and just... He's a good yeah, I really love his good, books. Good, right? I yeah. love his perspective. Yeah. So. Yeah, she's, she's great. great. She's great. Um, I read a book a long time ago called... Uh, Orbiting the giant hairball, which oh, I thought yeah. was I remember great. reading that and with it you. Was, it was good. It's it's also short. It's very creative. I love the the guy that wrote that. I mean, I love what you see from the book. The metaphor, the sink. <coughs> sink no, I love the sinkhole sink syndrome. <laughs> um, I'm reading a book right now called Thinking Fast and Slow. That I've is, heard about that. It's a great Who wrote book. It? Well, I can't remember the guy's name, but if you search Thinking Think Fast, fast. Think so slow. Slow. <laughs> Think slow. Um, <laughs> But it is. It's, it. it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I actually thought I was going to try and look this guy up online and send him a few questions because, you know, I wasn't sure he was right about something. Just kidding. <laughs> just I kidding. Challenge just every kidding. Just kidding. Makes. I wanted to say that with a straight face. That could have been maybe my favorite yeah. thing you've ever said. <laughs> the, guy's, the guy's Nobel Peace Prize, like Nobel winner or something. So it's like hey, Bob no Goff. Way. Yeah, Bob Goff's nowhere near Nobel. Oh, I don't think. Yeah. Oh wow! But, uh, wow! Yeah, Daniel Common. That's it. Okay, so what's give us a short? What is um? What's it called? Think slow. Thinking okay. fast and slow. That you have two ways of thinking. You have your intuitive, uh, your intuitive way, and then your more analytical way of thinking. We all think that we're guided by our analytical, and not a chance. Um, but basically, it's how subjective we are how subjective we are and he's like the world's foremost psychologist or something and so tons of studies and and uh just just i mean i love it because it's like basically how much we lie to ourselves i mean he's not like mean and cruel i mean but that's really the you know how much influences what you say and what you think well thousands and thousands of people listen to this show Thousands and thousands. So you've just made him a bestseller. <laughs> I think he New was York before Times. that. No, I read it on Get Get Abstract, and so I, you know, that's where I saw that. I read the abstract on that, and then thought, this is great. I'm gonna check that out. So. Wow. Is Get Abstract free? I think there's a free level. That's do you not cool. do that? No. You don't do Get Abstract. No, it costs too much money. Yeah. <sighs> well, I built it to my last church and fired me. <laughs> Not true. Not true. <laughs> that is too true. I was going to so. say, not true. It's probably true. Billy Porter from Friendswood, Texas. No. Speaking of your last church, Matt, this question is for you. Hey, team, how do you fight becoming cynical in youth ministry? I'm struggling right now to stay positive. Thanks, Billy Porter. Oh, that's a good That's a good question. But I think that that's not just for me. I mean, I think... Oh, oh you're just joking. Yeah. Okay. I don't know when to take you seriously. You don't? Not. What are you... That no. new? Not like a, I'm right. sorry. No, well, to me, I think... I mean, there's a million things. I mean, to... to um, you know, bitterness is one of those things that creeps in slowly. And it's... it's if you're not watching... Kind of like my underwear. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like Doug's underwear. But if you don't... It wasn't if you're meant not, for the show. I was just a little whisper. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, look at... That's whisper for all. 
Oh my gosh. Right. This hey, is wild. Keep going. You're, I just You're on only to <laughs> Um But I think the, the resentments and the yeah, entitlements. Give me the title of the show. Kind of like my underwear. <laughs> kind of like Doug's underwear. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like Doug's underwear. Right. Sorry. Um, can. The resentments <laughs> and the entitlements, that is. <laughs> trying to fight through. I've tried. Hey, I welcome, love, welcome to my life. I love welcome to my life. Shoot the breeze. I mean, I don't right, go, just, go. I get clean Now I'm totally now. focused. Yeah, we, got this. we got this. Here we go. Okay, I'll do the second thought. You do the next thought. You do the first one, Josh. I don't even remember the question of this. <laughs> How do you keep from being bitter? How do you keep uh, encouraged? How do you How keep... do you fight being cynical in youth mission? Yeah. I don't know. Cynical. Well, there's all... Let's You're put... too cynical. <laughs> I would say this. I, I'll throw this out, and you, then you take it. I would say, you just gotta have you gotta have people around you that believe, because when you're down, they're up, and, and vice versa. Because mm. I know I, at I times agree. I've bled all over the place, and someone is there to talk me off the edge of the cliff or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And vice versa, where I'm like, no, 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 this is you see, God, you know. No, so you I think need to it, jump off the cliff. <laughs> seriously, yeah. go run. I'm I the behind I every. Jump I think cliff. behind every door, like if there's a door that says youth pastor, and you're going, oh, that's my office. There's really a second door that is cynical, you know, but I mean, I just think it's oh, part yeah. of the, it is part of one it. of the things I, I was thinking about this was just that you have to kind of admit that there's always, there's, there's always something that can make you kind of roll your eyebrows. Yeah. You know, roll well, your, cynicism is, yeah, roll your eyes, the eyebrows kind of raise, but, shake your head. but cynicism, I mean, is really, <laughs> it's, it's just a, uh, it's an incorrect expression of wisdom. I mean, there's there's a certain. I mean, a cynicism Whoa. is like, oh, I've seen this before. Correct. It's like a. It's like a, incorrect. Not the right word. I. I, mean, I, I don't just, know. That was so either so deep or so dumb. <laughs> I have to play that back in. My yeah. Mind. No. No. Because <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that when as experiences grow, as your experience grows and you see different things happen and and you know the student the, the student comes in who you know is going to change their life but then you know that they're not they're just trying to BS and and you know and play the game like there's a wisdom that's like oh I've seen seen this before so that's where I say like cynicism like there's a wisdom that's good you, you know every situation isn't new everything isn't sparkly and shiny you are able to label some things as oh yeah that sucks and that might suck and that totally completely sucks I mean being able to see those is a wisdom and so I think cynicism it takes it too far and only focuses on that or fails to forgive other people or fails to rely on God's wisdom or God's wisdom and God's provision and his working in your life and you don't trust that God's bigger than that so I mean that's right that's what I was meant to go with that <clears throat> I think part of it is leaving I mean I know I just was leaving slash got lefted or mm-hmm. whatever um got canned left behind that was left oh. behind yeah they were moving forward and they did not um but part of it is that too i mean we've seen that in different churches where leaders have been around for a while and they've gotten too bitter too cynical and it's like dude you should be gone like you're no yeah. longer on board with with the vision of the church and then when they end up leaving it takes two years to detox if it takes two years to detox, you were too cynical for too long, you know, and that's that's not a place where where you where you want to. So you be. had four weeks off. Was that enough time? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I actually, yeah, totally. Yeah, it was. It was a good time, and I actually, in my as in my own journey, in my own, I mean, you read what happened. The timing was unbelievable. If they would have waited twelve hours, I would have resigned, and so. Um, and, and but it was better for the show than you got canned. Well, yeah, I guess that. it was better for the show. I mean, it's better for me better right for now. Severance. Today, I'm getting paid by two churches. How great is that? <laughs> uh, not like it's a giant salary or anything. But uh, <laughs> not, like, er, 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 not like it's any even percentage of cha-ching.org. That is not. Man, yeah, not yeah. 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 Um, but for me in my own heart, like it was I it was um, early December, late November, early December ish where it was like I was every I just let go of everything. I mean yeah. not that it didn't come back up again, but all the complaints, yeah. replaying all the conversations, yeah. like there was a time where I just let go and go, Okay, this is done. Like there's nothing I could do about this, there's nothing I could change, I'm not yeah. you know. And so there was that time. And so you do. I mean that's a great it was a great place to be the freedom and just the sheer joy of it but it still comes back yeah I mean it's not like it's not like bitterness you know 
oh, I've fought it and conquered it today, and it will never, you know, come come again. So, <clears throat> there's a, um, I think there's also a spiritual piece to this too. That for me, the closer, this is going to sound like the, I'm playing the Jesus card, and I don't mean to trumpet like this, but the closer I I connect with Jesus, that I talk with Jesus, that I walk with Jesus, the less stuff bugs me. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. You know, it, it, there is a lot of stuff that bugs me, but you know when I'm when I'm just kind of you, you know what that is. There's times when you're in step with Jesus, and there's times when you're out of step. And when I'm out of step, I'm more cynical than when I'm than when I'm in step. Stuff when I'm out of step, stuff stings more than it should. I right. I care more deeply about comments or wound, you know. But when I'm when I feel like I'm in step, it it the the, the it doesn't sting as much. So yeah, yeah. But I think when you become cynical, it's often a sign that you might be out of step. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That you're not trusting that God is bigger than that, that he can help you forgive or you can surrender. It's possible to surrender that entitlement. You know, I mean, these are all sure. motives, moves of the heart. What do you got, Josh? You got anything on that? You've kind of been quiet. No, I mean, I throw out the friends thing. I think friends. I think friends are. Yeah, well, that's key. true. Friends did, are friends forever. That's right. I, and the other side of it is, if you're cynical, I think you typically poison other people, or you try out some of your B-level cynicism till you find people who agree, and then you bring out the big guns, and you're like, "Yeah, we think that was good." Wait till you hear my opinion on this, 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 and this. Yeah, yeah. And I think part of it comes from a, honestly, like, we believe we can do a better job than the person who's in charge. We believe they're incompetent and we would run it perfectly. Yeah. And I think that is arrogant douchebaggery. <laughs> wow, look at you. Always in every situation. No, many. And yeah. What I'm saying is yeah. when it, when I am doing it, that's how that's who I am. Hmm. When I am being cynical, but don't when I'm being constructively critical, that's totally different. When I'm that's totally different than cynicism. <clears throat> How do you define the difference? Do you think difference? there's a difference between having cynical moments and a cynical attitude? You know, sure, like, for sure. There's just, you know, the for sure. waves of, ah. Uh, sure, there's, like, because right. I, I feel yeah. like I find myself more in that than in, I'm not sure I've ever experienced being cynical all the way around. Right. I mean, maybe somebody else would. When you're just drowning in. But I feel like I've definitely had moments where I've had cynical moments and released that in some way. So. Totally. Well, I think let, let's just pick on like a senior pastor relationship. A youth pastor is going to be number two at best in the org chart. So if I'm looking at the senior pastor and I'm cynical, I'm going to be saying I would run things differently. I would do a better job. I would take care of my people. I would give yeah. a better sermon. I would fix these issues that he or she is apparently totally blind to and incapable of resolving. Right, right. So I think it's you projecting your perfection on their imperfection. This sounds like I planned it. That's so funny. No, and, it isn't. And I think well, at the end of the day, have. you are you're going to lose in that scenario. And you're not as good of a leader as you think you are. So... Keep it to yourself. Put your head down. Do some good work. <laughs> That's well, a, that is a line of experience because you know. Oh, no, but some people uh, are better leaders than they think they are. Well, I very. Mean, that's, okay, I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna go. Eleven years at one church, twenty at another church. Nineteen. A Just lot go. of people left over those years that I've seen that were like, oh, I could do way better than this. Right. And they oh, go, yes. They go and they flame yes. out. Yes. Yeah. Okay? yeah. Not just leaving can. the youth ministry. I'm talking about leaving and then pointing at the pastors of the church. It's going, oh, they, that's so old school. And then they go and can their lives. Um, yeah. Or have, you know, ministries that they would say isn't successful. Yeah. Know? Right. I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> no, I totally don't. All right. Let's move on. Um, I'm going to try to get two more. Two more questions. There's, we got three money questions that are. I'm gonna kind of like they're good questions. The good questions are about, 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 about finances. There we oh, go. Yeah. Okay. Um, you said fifty cents. Jared Sorber from Columbia, <laughs> Maryland. Yeah. Hey team, thanks for the show. I'm a rewinder and have enjoyed almost every episode. What? I'm part of a youth How ministry network in everyone? Howard County, <laughs> um, Maryland. We don't enjoy it all. I was going to say, <laughs> at the I end, we're all like, yourself. I enjoy every episode. Well, except the ones you're not on. I was going to say, which yeah, That's okay, to too. Do. I had a great time. I'm in the process of transitioning from being a hands-on leader of student <laughs> ministries to overseeing the leaders of our children. 
children's middle school and high school. Mm-hmm. Right. Is anybody paying attention to this? No. Middle school, high school. Okay. He's transitioning from being, on the stu- being the student minister, you, okay. to overseeing children's middle school, high school. I'm having trouble with the balance of making what sure... <laughs> making sure those I lead are on mission purpose while still having the freedom they need to lead their area of ministry. How do I maintain a good balance between giving freedom to my leaders while making sure we are on mission? Thanks for your help. Doug, thanks for Student Leadership Conference. I love it. It has Aww. been powerful in the lives of our students. Good. No, that's a great... SLC. That's, what's our website? 2013.com. 2013.com. We can answer the questions rather than prep and stuff. <laughs> No, I mean that's a great that's a great question because especially when you're now a leader of leaders like you you it's a whole new ball game it's a whole new way of thinking and acting and when you say how do I make sure they're on mission um, I mean it it it's hard on email I mean I wish we were face to face so I could just hear the tone of that. Um, but here's here's what I would do. Let them define what that means. Let give them, you know, say, hey, I want to make sure we're all on the same page here because we need to all be on the same page. And, you know, whatever it is you're on mission means for your for your church. But let them say, what does that mean for us to all be on the same page? And let them speak into that. You can always correct it later, add to it, improve it, or even take stuff away. But if you come with an edict from on high, this is what it means for you all to be on mission, I think that's going to be a tough spot. I kind of disagree with you. I mean, I definitely, I feel like you're starting at step two, because I think there needs to be some kind of 35,000 foot vision, you know, that's, you know, maybe it's not everything defined totally detailed, but I think as a leader, if you have expectations of what it means to be on mission, you have to kind of put that. I'm kind of assuming that this is this is something. You're right. I'm assuming that this whatever on mission means I has already said, been described and defined. Is in the gotcha. water system of the culture. Right. So I'm assuming that. Yeah. Which could be is actually it is in fact that's a bad assumption. I mean, I feel like <clears throat> there needs to be, you know, somewhere your expectations need to be defined because people won't be able to meet them if they don't know what they oh. are. So I think, you know, they don't have to be, like I said, it doesn't have to be a 35-point checklist of that. But I think yeah. Yeah. putting out some of those one or two expectations and then, you know, being a part of the freedom process with them of, hey, yeah. let's talk, yeah. let's brainstorm, let's whiteboard, let's, you know, let's see yeah. what it takes to get to. But I think as a leader, you have an end result in mind, to, usually. And so, you know, if if that end result matters to you, then I think that needs to be put out there, too. If, like, you've got a ton of freedom, but I want you to know here's the end result also. You know, so I think there's... Yeah. There's definitely leadership-wise being at real this, clear about your expectations. At this level, to oversee th- you know three or four ministries that are so different from each other, to have a single specific thing for everybody is going to be difficult. Unless sure. it's just number, you know, I want weekend numbers to grow, or I want you know everyone to be welcomed, or you know, I mean, it, you're you're totally right. I totally agree. I think. <coughs> I what I if if you're going at you're not going this way in the email but if you are going this way that we all need to be in alignment you know alignment is a nice word that gets talked about a lot I, I think that is something that is really worth defining you know so a lot of times people talk about it when it's like we're gonna all teach the same thing so that way when we are in the families are in the car driving home they could all talk about the same thing which sounds nice until you actually think about it or watch it happen I mean every message even if it's on the same passage is taught differently enough that that that's not a that's not that powerful of a thing that everybody walks away with the same action step but what if that's the value of the senior leader leader. well but let me just say one more thing and then go back to that now i'm not saying that means you never you never teach the same thing or you never get it because there is some energy and there is some excitement and there's some stuff like that i think if that's the value of the senior leader then you work towards that yeah you work towards making that happen and 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 what that and what that looks like i think if it's not the value of the senior leader and it's your value down and you're one step below or two steps below and middle management mega church world um i think uh 
Um, I think that's a lot of energy that could be used in other places. You know, leadership development or creating a culture that is relational or, you know, other things that could be a better use of your energy than making sure everyone walks away with the same action step. How do I maintain a good balance between giving freedom to my leaders and making sure we're on mission? I think, Matt, what you said earlier about what you wanted that you didn't get was the value and the freedom. Mm. Yeah. So I think you go back to that and say, we, I want to make sure that if I'm in this guy's position, Jared, if I'm in your position, which I've been in, overseeing multiple ministries, I want to value the key leaders. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways I value them is to give them the freedom. Yeah. And, and then when I feel like, oh, gosh, that doesn't feel like that is on mission for us. Hopefully, there's enough relational capital yeah. there that we could go out to lunch and say, Josh, you know what? I'm your biggest fan. Value. Yeah. But, you know, I've noticed the last few weeks that we're doing this with parents, and it feels like it's a little bit of a miss. Help me understand that. Sure. That, you know, yeah, or maybe course you corrections, could, yeah. course corrections obviously work best in the, in the power of, you know, relationships. But now, Jared might have been given this ministry for the senior leader saying, and I've had this happen as well. Get uh, them back on mission. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> get them back on mission. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to put you in this spot so you can get everybody going in that, in that direction. At which point I still would go back to, <clears throat> if I want to keep that person, I'm going to come alongside of them and develop a relationship might with them. Lead us differently. If it was, you know, children's high school, junior high or whatever, yeah. you would probably lead us really differently. So the approach for each of us would be a little bit different. All Still things, relational. All people. Yeah. You know, definitely relational, but you know, leading us for Jared, it might require you to kind of okay, who is Matt? And yeah, how do and what I help do they him need? succeed yeah. and lead? Yeah. Okay, Matt and Katie are really different, so I can't necessarily lead them the same way. Yeah. yeah. You have to really know us and what we Don't respond disagree to. with Matt. Give yeah. Katie gifts. <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent point. That's an excellent yeah, point. Yeah, you can't treat everybody the same. Because all, all of us you're super relational with, but it would look real different to lead us in those yeah. ministries. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. It's really good. Okay, here's what we're going to do, because Matt took a long time with that answer, is um, we're going to move the money questions to next next episode. Money questions. Okay. Right. And then I'm Lord moving to Andrew Smith and Matthew Reed. I'm moving both of those I'm giving them to our executive producer, Seth, to move them to the Youth Ministry Garage community. Love so it. we have three or four questions to put up for the community, yes. which means Money. Jerry Varner will answer all of them. You say Jared or Jerry? Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. Jerry Varner. Yeah. He's great. He loves and there's other people that answer a lot, too, but Jerry's great chiming He's in always there. on it. So, way. by the way, those of you that are Hall of Famers and Rewinders, please jump in and uh, share your, your thoughts and wisdom and insight. Do you have two closing sponsors? I do, yes. YM360 has a giveaway. Look at YM360. Okay, let's just Whoa. stop for a second. Oh, man. Doug Franklin at Leader Treks. Look at what these guys... I mean, these guys are, are putting you to shame with all the stuff they've given Holy to... Holy smokes, look at that. Yeah, I haven't dug into it yet because I just opened the box before it started. Proof. Six lessons the book of There's John. a lot of stuff. We need, we need, the um, proof. I feel like I need leader tracks, Seth, to send us some new stuff. I've, we've given their stuff away 19 times. Engage. Impacting okay. a hostile okay, world. Anyway. So Great. They want to give away Reach is a six lesson study on the book of Psalms. Ooh. And it doesn't say how to give that away. Do you want to give it away next show or right now? Ooh. How about next the. Show. All right. Yeah. Next show. And then don't forget about their brand new Elements curriculum. You can get it at youthministry360.com slash elements. Downloadable two years of curriculum. Wow. Pretty cool stuff. This yeah. Wow. Cool. Look at them going head to head with I the new curriculum. It's great. Nice. Um, and then Remedy Live, one of our other sponsors, has a new video series called Issues. You go to RemedyLive.com slash issues. talks about depression, eating disorders, pornography, etc. Sounds like some great small group stuff. And you can text YMG to 313131, and one listener will get a Remedy Live t-shirt and a $10 Starbucks gift card. Oh, wow. Pretty rad. Yeah, Seth's excited about those videos, too. I am. They're yeah. really, really great. Okay, look, show, them, show them to me, and then let's talk about them at the yeah. beginning of the show next time. Yeah, yeah. good call. All right, everybody, that was episode 210. As always, friends, good, show. good to be together. It's good, good to be show. together. How do you feel good, good about it? I feel great about it. I don't even want it to end. Let's you just keep it going. a lot I of can't. wisdom on this Was show. there cynicism in that? <laughs> we talked a lot. No, there was no cynicism in that. <laughs> right. oh, I'm excited. Sure. I'm going to keep it going. All right. No, we really We're gone. No way. You can keep talking. This is a long show. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs>